Good morning to a brand new day. Time to learn and games to play. Learning things is so much fun. Learning is good for everyone. Good morning, third grade. I'm Mrs. Nix, and I am so excited to have you here as I'm supporting you to become amazing thinkers. Oh, look, I have a cute little thing. Thinkers, readers, and writers. This morning, I was reading one of Eric Carle. He happens to be one of my most favorite authors and illustrators. Have you read any of his books before? I bet you're familiar with The Very Hungry Caterpillar, but maybe A House for Hermit Crab is something you haven't checked out. It's about a little hermit crab who goes through life looking to better his house. I wonder what he puts on his shell to make it better. You're going to have to check out this book to see what happens with little hermit crab. All right, so good morning. I'm ready to get started, and I hope you've had a wonderful weekend. Um, it's Monday morning. We're going to go through, I've got two things we're going to do today. We're going to look at the long A um, spellings. We're going to practice several of them all week long. And then we're going to work on plural nouns. And I've got a little bit of a, a tweak that we're going to do with some of those, with some spellings with that. Are you ready to start? Okay, let's start by looking at our high frequency words. Just a reminder, our high frequency words are those words that you see often in texts. They're also ones that you wanna be using in your writing. So, as you come across them, maybe you're able to read them. Perhaps there's one that you wanna practice writing and using in your writing. All right, let's get started. Let's read them. Here we go. Call, called, by, by, can, came, carry, bring, brown, but. Okay, so I have two of them today, and really you're gonna look at it and say, hmm, these are pretty much the same word, but I have an inflectional ending on it. Do you see it? Yeah, so I have the word call, C-A-L-L, -L, call. And I have called, called, C-A-L-L-E-D. So one is kind of in the present tense, but this one with the E-D happened in the past, right? Remember that from last week? Okay, let's see if we can put them in a couple of sentences together. All right, so read with me. Let me grab my stick. Can I borrow your cell phone to make a, hmm, is that in the present tense or is that in the past tense? Sounds kind of present because it has the word make and make I know is in the present tense. Can I borrow your cell phone to make a call? Nicely done. Let's try this one. Your mom called and said dinner is ready. Hmm, does that sound like it happened in the past? Perhaps she's already called. Nicely done, third grade. So, is your brain nice and warmed up and you're ready to go? Of course you are. All right, Monday mornings, we gotta, we gotta stretch those brains out a little bit. Okay, this morning we're gonna look at the long A. I brought my train card along with me so that it can help me remember there's a lot of different ways that we can spell the long A sound. So let's train that ear so that we're hearing that long A sound. Listen for it. Can you hear the long A that says A at the beginning of the word able? Yeah. How about in the middle of the word base? Did you hear it? Nice job. Okay, so that's the sound we're gonna listen for, but look at all these different ways that we can spell the long A. All right, let's get looking. We have the long A sound spelled A-I. Now A-I, we can look on our train card and our train card's gonna remind us that A-I cannot be at the end of a word. We have to use the A-Y if we're looking at the end of the word. A blank E, we've got the E-A, E-I. 
Now, if you look on my chart up here, I have a couple of additional ones as well. So we have EA, EI, and I put the EIGH in there as well because you're going to kind of see those together, as well as EY. Okay, so let's look at what these look like in a word. AI has to be in the, towards the beginning or the middle. There has to be some letters that come after it, like in the word tail. Do you see that AI right there in the, in the middle? So if we know tail, we also know fail. Do you see that AI right there? Nicely done. Let me grab my pointer stick. When I have AY, AY comes at the end like in play. See our AY right there? And if we know play, look right here. Do you see it? A-Y at the end. So we have bay, nicely done. Then this is a nice review of our magic E or silent E or bossy E. Remember, it's got lots of names. It just depends on how your teacher teaches it. But we have the A blank E like in face. Do you see I underlined the A and the E with red? So we have face. And let's read the one right below it wave. Nicely done. Now, EA, we know can say E, but in this case, we're learning all the sounds of the long A sound, like in great. Look at that right there. See that EA? Great. And bear. Bear has that A sound, bear. Okay. EI and EIGH. Now, as the week goes on, we'll talk more about E-I-G-H. I brought my E-I words with me today. So let's look right here. If this is A, let's sound it out. Vein, vein. So this is a vein like in your arm. You might have a little vein. And then when we get married, we have a veil. The ladies put a little veil over their face. Do you see it? And then E-Y, like in the word they. Do you see the E-Y? Or maybe you want to shout at someone and say, hey, you can have the EY there as well. Did you see all those different ways that you can spell the long A sound? Huh, there's so many of them. We're going to practice them today. Before we do that, I have one other thing I want us to talk about right here. This happens to be with our plural nouns. So with a plural noun, there are some rules. Remember what plural means? That's right, it means that there's more than one, right? Okay, and how do we let a reader know that there's more than one? What's that little magical letter that we can put at the end? Yeah, an S, okay. We can't always add an S to the end of a word. Sometimes we have to do something a little bit tricky. And let me tell you what that is. We're gonna have to add an ES, hmm. When do I know the difference to do an ES or just a plain S? Okay, let's talk about it. So I have a little rule for us right here that we're gonna learn. It's add ES to form the plural of nouns that end with S, double S, SH, CH, or X. So here we go. Now this one right here, I always just, I have kind of my little non-example is boat. It doesn't end with an S or a double S. And this case, I can just put boats. This is what we're most common, what, what we're most familiar with, right? But down below, here are examples of all of the different types of words that end with our spelling that we're looking for. So bus ends with S. So if we wanna say that there are more than one bus, we wanna say buses, we have to add ES. Do you see it? buses. Now, pass, maybe you have a wild waters pass. If your family has a whole bunch of them, you would say you have passes. See the double S? Then we add the ES. Nice job. All right. I've got three more examples to show you. Speech ends with a CH. Remember, that's one of our rules. We're going to add ES. Speeches. More than one is speeches. And then if a lady is wearing maybe a sash, or my boys are Boy Scouts, they wear a sash with all their merit badges on there, it ends with an SH. If they have more than one sash, we would say they wear 
sashes, and we would put ES. And the last one that I have ends with the letter X, tax. We have to pay a tax, and in the springtime, we pay our taxes. That means we have more than one. So these are examples of all the different ways that we can make a noun be plural. All right, just have to remember some of those rules. So let's look. I have a little bit of practice for us. Looking at both the long A as well as some spelling. So help me out. I know you're at home, so you're gonna have to be a little extra loud for me, but think to yourself, what were some of those spelling patterns? And looking right here, it says read each word, circle the word in each group that has the long A sound. So with you being at home, look at these first choices right here. Do you spot that, that long A sound? Can you see it? That's right, I see it right here. Do you see the AI? So what's that word? Yeah, rail. So this one definitely has a long A. This one is roll, and then we have ran. So neither of those help us, right? Okay, let's keep going. Do you see the long A spelling patterns? How many of you see the EA that's right here? Yeah, now remember EA can also say E. Let's try it with the A sound just to see. S eight, sate. Is that a word that we know? Hmm. Let's try it with the E sound. S eat, seat. Can you take a seat at the table? Ah, so this one actually, even though it has that long A spelling, it actually is following the E rule, so we're not going to do that one. Do you see another word that has the long A? Yeah, right here. A Y says A, nice job. So we would circle stay. Let's do one last one. Do you see it? Where's that long A spelling? Yeah, right here, A Y. What's our word? Gray, nicely done. Gray, grow, grab. We're looking for that long A. Looking down below, we have I like to read and we wanna make the word book or books. Let's make it be books. What's our rule? That's right, just add the S. If the word ends with X, what do we add to the end? You got it, E-S. So now it says this story is about four foxes. Nice job. So, third grade. I am so excited with all of our learning that we have for this week, learning our long A and our plural words and lo looking for those as you're going through your stories tonight. Practice those. All right. I am so excited that you got to hang out with me this morning. I appreciate it. And I just wanna say, remember, you are responsible for your learning success. So ask the questions, listen, and share your ideas. Together, we can do so much more. Bye-bye. Good morning to a brand new day. Time to learn and games to play. Learning things is so much fun. Learning is good for